Maher when they met in uh, handicap company on his final start last campaign. So they're all taking a rather big step up in trip here. None of them gone further than uh, a mile before. Interesting to see what part tactics are played here from the riders or from the same owner trainer combination. Runners at the post. Run has been called forward, and they're off for the Wath Bar Stud Farm Cup EFAR Handicap Stakes over a mile and three quarters, and they race in race card order through the early stages with the top weight, Al Jawaha, leading stable companions, Tatweer and Alpha Reed as they come down the home straight the first time at a fairly steady tempo. So the top weight, Al Jawaha, Phil Connington on board. Blue white stripe cap the grey, clear by a couple of lengths over Tatweer in the black cap in the hands of Steve Harrison in second, racing a little keenly. And Alfred a little bit better settled on the inside in the hands of Matthew Johnson, the noseband and red cap in third. So they pass the judge, circuit to go, and no more than a exercise canter at present as they head towards the final 11 furlongs. So they turn right-handed, heading down the side of the track. Al Jawaha, who was a winner at Newbury over a mile when he was last seen. Clear by a couple of lengths over Tatweer in second, who was third behind him on that occasion, has subsequently finished second at Windsor, also over a mile. And Al a winner at Wolverhampton last season, was down the field behind stable companions Tatweer and Al Jawah in that race at Niri over a mile last August. Last of the trio with nine furlongs left to travel. So all this trio taking a step up in trip of at least three quarters of a mile this afternoon as they prepare to turn right-handed and head into the back straight in the final mile. The leader remains Al Jawah, still at a fairly steady tempo, leading by length and a half. Tatweer in second, a bit better settled now and in turn is two and a half lengths clear from Alpha Reed. So into the back straight they go. They approach the halfway stage and the final seven furlongs. Al Jawaha, the leader, Phil Collington on board, leading by two lengths over Tatweer in second and two and a half lengths back to Alpha Reed, last of the trio. No change in the order. They have just over six furlongs left to travel. Al Jawaha remains in front by length and a tail, continuing their progress down the back straight. Tatweer continues to be his nearest pursuer, and two and a half lengths back to find Alpha Reed, last of the trio going into the far turn. And Tatweer trying to get up on the inside of stable companion Al Jawaha with just over a half mile left to travel, and nips up the inside. And Phil Collington briefly rowing away on the market leader, who comes back alongside Tatweer as they head down the side of the track with just over three furlongs to travel. And then a break of three lengths to Alpha Reed, who just nudged along to try and take closer order and indeed begins to close the gap as they prepare to make the downhill run back towards the home straight. Tat Weir in front, and now Phil Collington has to get a bit more urgent on Al Jawara on the outside. Alpha Reed on the inside is closed up within two lengths in third as they prepare to make the run back towards the home straight. Just over a quarter of a mile left to travel. Tat Weir leading by just over a length, and now the tempo really begins to lift. Al Jawara's got two lengths to find in second place and looks to be flat. To the boards. Alpha Reed's now gone past him and gives chase to his stable companion as they prepare to turn for home. It's the maiden, Tat Weir, and Steve Harrison who turns at the top of the straight with a two to three length lead. Alpha Reed on the left with the noseband tries to inch closer. 
And El Jawal's got nothing left to give back in third. So down the home straight, down to the final furlong. Tat Weir in front. Al Farid just over two lengths away, but working hard to try and bridge the gap. But it looks a forlorn hope as they race into the closing stages. And it's Tat Weir, the maiden, and Steve Harrison out in front. And he will shed the maiden tag at the fifth attempt. Beats Al Farid into second. And Al Jawal, the favourite, last of the trio. Here is the order of finish, first number two, second number three and third number one.